MA includes a step-by-step -step guide for identifying the origin of medical conditions, whether it be your ancestry, conception, womb, birth trauma, childhood, or even adult life. This book is written for everyone. Hi, my name is Yvette Bose, and today's topic is abundance blocks. Now, almost everyone is striving to be successful and to earn more money. So money in today's society equals power and freedom. And power and freedom is no longer just a natural state of mind, but rather we seem to be going outside of ourselves to create circumstances to help us access these states, right? These abundant states. And now, here's the question though. Don't you feel that it will be easier to maintain your success and financial freedom if you already had these abundant states to begin with, right? So it's much easier to maintain success and achieve it when you know what it feels like to have it. You know, whether you meditate on it, pretend to have it, it doesn't matter, right? So, and I've noticed here in my life that often when, you know, when you chase after something for all the wrong reasons, it's much harder to maintain it once you have achieved it. Now let me share an example with you and just explain with you what I'm trying to say. A family member once told me that I will wipe vomit off the floors in pubs. And that statement stirred off a very deep resentment and anger with me. And I felt judged and so invalidated and unfairly criticized based on no facts whatsoever. And, and just to make a long story short, I was 19 when I bought my first car. And it was my dream car. It was a BMW 3180i. I had two apartments and I worked hard and I worked long hours. You know, I remember the day when I even called that person back who told me that I will achieve nothing. And I asked, you remember that day when you told me that I will wipe vomit off the floors in pubs? Well, this is what I achieved. And on top of that, I earned three times this person's salary. Now, it felt great to make that phone call, but it was instant gratification and that did not last very long. I was not happy with the success that I achieved as I was working long hours, I didn't have a social life, I couldn't maintain relationships, and before I knew it, I was hospitalized for two days for exhaustion. And do you think I was able to maintain the success that I achieved? No. The drive and motivation that I had and the need that I had for success and abundance was driven by my resentment towards this other person. You know, just, just to prove this person wrong. And I hated my job. I was not happy. I was depressed. Even though I had everything that I wanted, you know, I realized that when I had it, I didn't want it anymore. And, that I, and I ended up paying a high price for the success that I achieved. And I realized that, you know, I had to re-evaluate my reasons for wanting to become successful. And I did, work, I did start working through the blocks and the negative associations that I made with success, with success and money because I ended up sabotaging my success and abundance because I had such a negative association with it. It was almost traumatic as it came at such a high emotional price. You know, once I addressed these blocks, only then was I able to start a business that I actually enjoyed. And there was, and there still is passion for it. You know, I actually want to wake up in the morning now and I do what I love. And the success and abundance just comes with that. Now, where do abundance blocks come from? I just mentioned one example to you. You know, there, there are root causes, just to name a few. You know, it could be strongly related to your parents, you know, and how they dealt with money and success. You know, if they were poor, are you maybe overcompensating now by trying to work too hard to make a difference in your own life and not to go down the same path as your parents? You know, and if so, are you happy in your life and your, and your career? You know, some of you might be happy and some of you might not. And for those who are not happy, I invite you to explore the core reasons for wanting to become successful. You know, was it for all the right reasons? What is your foundation for success built on and driven by emotionally? Other blocks that could be influencing your ability to become abundant could be from your ancestry, you know. They might have associated money with guilt or they decided in the name of the religion that they were not allowed to become successful and abundant. You know, family and ancestral values can have a big impact on your ability to become successful. And this is programmed into your biological makeup and your unconscious mind. You may have had a negative experience with success and money in the past, you know, and this is leaving you with a negative association with money that could potentially sabotage you from making more money. You know that pattern of becoming abundant and then losing it all, becoming abundant and losing it all? Sounds familiar to some of you, I'm sure. You know, that was definitely the case for me. 
you know, and you might have poor boundaries with people, you know, which will have a direct impact on you being able to be a strong leader, whether it's in your life or even in your career. You see, the point that I'm trying to make here is that if you strive for abundance and, and success, you need to come from a healthy mindset. And the reason for wanting to become abundant needs to be built on a strong and healthy foundation. Then chances are that you may end up failing later and resenting the success that you achieve is minimized. You know, if you're trying to become successful because you're competitive, then you may have noticed that becoming successful is not an easy journey. You know, if you kick off your business with a competitive nature, then you will cross paths competitors who will reflect these aspects in you. Now, my message for you is to forget about what others are doing. Yes, have role models. However, the further more you move away from your true authentic self, the less authentic your work and success will be. Right? So when you work towards success, it needs to be for you. And when you achieve it, then yes, share it with loved ones. Have fun with it. But the motivation for it has to start within. It starts with you as this will lay down the foundation that you build your success and abundance on. You know, if that foundation is not strong and it's, and it's not there for all the right reasons, then you may end up facing more challenges than what you anticipated, right? One step forward and three steps back. You know, people are also often scared of becoming successful. And this can be a result of due to lack of confidence, which could stem from your childhood, you know where you may not have had the support that you needed to achieve your goals. You didn't have the right guidance or a soundboard to play your ideas of, learn what your strengths were, learn what your weaknesses were. You know, you may have a fear of being supported as people might have taken advantage of you or your success. And this relates to boundaries that are not exercised in a balanced way. You know, ultimately, the message here is that be true to your true authentic self. Know what you want, know why you want it. Have clear goals, make clear decisions, take action and stick to decisions that you've made. Right? You have to be your own biggest cheerleader. The abundance topic is a beast and there is so much more to say about it. But I'm going to leave you with this and I'll post a video soon about manifesting and the secrets behind manifesting that successful people will never share with you. Thank you for joining me. My name is Yvette Rose.